I'm going to send the Spirit, and that Spirit is in you. You are the house of God. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The temple of the Holy Spirit in Jerusalem was surrounded by seven miles of people who are working in relationship one with another. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Around you, in your family, the people that you are working with, that's your holy ground. That's your holy ground. Understand, Moses struck out, killed the Egyptian, and he ran away for 40 years left the people in bondage. Are you leaving your people in bondage in your holy ground? God says, come back. Take your shoes off. Come you back to your holy ground. Your holy ground is around you. I'm not talking about people who have a ministry around the world. I'm talking about the ordinary person. As you live your life, the second thing Jesus said when he left, I prepare a place for you. You're in the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven's in you. You're in the place God prepared for you in your holy ground. Don't walk away from it. They'll recognize you, who you are, and they'll call you a son of God. And you'll recognize you are a son of God when you're a peacemaker. That's Jesus' instructions to his disciples. And guess what? You're interfering with Satan's work because he wants you to fight. You're a peacemaker. And then Jesus said, they'll revile you, they'll persecute you, they'll say all manner of evil against you. They're showing you who they are. They're not showing you anything about you. You're a child of God. He said, realize that that's your great treasure. Rejoice and be glad. You're the salt. You're the light. Stay in your holy ground. Work in your holy ground. Those are your great treasures. God is calling you back to your holy ground. What about a close in prayer? I'm going to ask two more people to just release a word.